Hey guys, it's Hyper Lumber here today, and today I'm filming on the floor because I don't have any other place to work on for today. So I've, tr I'm trying to make more videos for you guys because I know that I haven't been posting much lately, like for three months, a few months I guess. So yeah, um, so today I'm going to make this really cool bracelet. This is actually my uh, an original design. So yeah, this bracelet is. Based on the triple link bracelet, if you guys did not know that, because at the back of the design, you could see there's kind of a triple link bracelet design here. But this is the signature of the bracelet, like these bracelets. So yeah, could you? So I would like to ask you guys to comment down below to make to help me name what this bracelet should be. So yeah, just whoever is whoever is the first one to comment down below and make sure the name isn't on YouTube or any kind of social media well at least Instagram so yeah make sure it's not on any of those sites so I could use the name so yeah further to do let's get started but yeah before we get started actually I want to thank um, Crafts by Creams and Minnie and Loomer for supporting me for a long for all this time so I really want to thank them thank you guys so much because yeah I really thank you so yeah let's get started with the video so first of all you need a loom no you but you cannot use any kind of loom for this creation because you have to use the rainbow loom like this kind of loom like the rainbow loom because you have to move the pegs around so yeah, I'm very sorry because I want to warn you, warn you about that. So yeah, and you also need a rainbow loom hook specifically, so you can, you know, so you can like get the pegs out easy. But it really depends. So yeah, if you have a fake loom, which you can see that the peg that the red arrow isn't there then that's a fake rainbow loom because I have, I've got one of those and I broke it when I try to make the triple link bracelet so yeah just beware about that and you will need some rubber bands of course and you can also and you also need a S clip or C clip so yeah it really depends on which one you want to use but this is like the two different kinds of clips so yeah, further to do, let's get started with the video. So first of all, you want to move the middle peg. So you'll just have to flip our loom around like this. And then just get your hook and use the end of the hook and start pushing out the blue, the blue thing that is supporting the loom. So yeah, it should be off by now. And now you just want to push it out carefully like this push the middle peg around so you want to hook put you want to twist it around like this so the u shape is kind of like a u shape and you want to place it like this on the loom so make sure your loom looks like this and this is the other side where the red arrow is pointing downwards or if you're using the fake loom i, I don't know so now you just want to put back your blue thing here back on place so it doesn't matter where you put it for now so yeah now you would you have to start placing your band so make sure your loom is facing this way where the u shape is facing is facing like a u and the other u's here are facing downwards upside the down so yeah make sure it's like this and we'll get started so now we just want to place our band. So let's get our get a single band, and this will be the border of the your bracelet. So I'm I'm just me remaking this bracelet like by color. So yeah, you'll be making this white part here. So now you want to place your bands. So single bands all the way to the end here. So let's speed this up. So okay, so once when you get to the end of the peg, now you just want to get another single peg, um, band, sorry, band, and then place it on the loom like this. So yeah, before you we continue, I just want to tell you that you will need strong rubber bands that could stretch further because 
in this process you'll need to stretch your bands during the hooking process so yeah make sure to have strong bands or else your, ba your rubber bands would snap like what happened to a few of the, the a few attempts that I tried making this bracelet so yeah okay so now once when you get to the end here wait let me just okay so once when you get to the end here now you just wanna place your single band like this and then you wanna place it all the way to the end again all the way here so yeah th um, let's just make things faster again okay so once when you're done with that you just actually want to push down the bands so you want to push them down to the furthest area because the only reason why we're doing this is that it will be easier to for the hooking process so what we want to do is just push the bands down like this so yeah we just continue all the way to the end and yeah like just push all the bands down to the furthest like to the end so yeah let's just speed things up again okay so once when you pushed all the bands down now you want to make like the actual color like this color here so yeah now you just want to make sure that your loom is facing where all the where two of the u shapes are facing downwards and the other u is like a normal u and it's facing facing upwards like the u shape that i'm talking about are these pegs so these three pegs so now you just want to place your single band and place it on top here from this peg. From where you actually started placing your band. So which is the U, U peg that is facing downwards. Like the, the one on your left side. And then you want to place your next color of bands. And you want to place it all the way down here. So let's just speed things up again. Okay, so once when you placed all the bands, like all of these bands, then you want to place your next color of bands. Like, just remember, this is the design of this, of the main thing. So now you just want to take your single band and then place it like this on the loom. And then you want to just continue all the way down to the peg over here. So yeah, let's just speed things up again. Okay, so once when you're done now, you just want to place a cat. Um, now you just want to place, get a single band, which is your border color basically. And we're just making the end of here so you could start hooking. So we could start hooking. So yeah, I'm sorry about the background noise of a construction site because yeah, they, there's some stuff going on. So yeah, just don't mind about that. And then, now you just want to get your single band, which I will choose my border color, but it's really up to you. So I want to get my single band and then just wrap it around this peg. That means the peg that is pointing upwards, the U shape that's pointing upwards. And I just want to wrap that two times. One, two. Okay, I wrapped it two times. So now we could get started with the hooking process. Now, I'm just going to make my loom vertical, vertical so it'll be easier. Um, easier to see. So now you just want to push the cat band, which means push the band that you just wrapped around on the peg. And then grab the bottom band here, like the really bottom band. And then just hook it on like this and stretch it across. This is called the fishtail hook. So yeah. Now push all the front bands, get the bottom band, and then hook it all the way and stretch it one more peg like this push the top all push all the top bands grab the bottom band hook hook it out like this and stretch it all the way here continue all the way to the end pegs and i will just 
do it. I'll just explain how to do it for this line of pegs. So push all the front bands, grab the bottom band, and hook it all the way here and stretch it out. Do the same thing and just push all the bands, grab the bottom band, and hook it here, but then stretch the band out like this. Push all the front bands, grab the bottom band, hook it on, and then stretch it out to the next peg like this. Push all the bands, grab the bottom band, hook it out, and then stretch it all the way here. Push all the bands, grab the bottom band, hook it out, and then just stretch it all the way here. Push all the bottom bands, grab the top band, that I right. Put, push all the top band, sorry, grab the bottom band and hook it all the way like this, and then stretch it out. So yeah, if you think I'm too fast, just like pause the video so you can like re so you can know the instructions. So yeah, push all the bands, grab the bottom band, and hook it all the way here. So yeah, you may not be able to see it anymore, but yeah, I'll just hook that through first. So yeah, it'll be really fast, guys. Um, just keep waiting, I guess. Okay, so once when you hook it all the way here, now... Once when you hook it all the way here, so you hook this much till you stop here. Then you want to, okay, so I'm just making my room horizontal because I could not film the rest of it. So yeah, just do the same thing. Uh, I'll just make it vertical, I'll try. So yeah, do the same thing by just pushing all the top bands, grabbing the bottom band. Hook it out like this, and then stretch it across to this peg here. Okay, once when you're done with that, just push all the front bands, grab the bottom band, hook it out. Okay, so if it gets stuck like this, and you couldn't really hook it much, just keep hold of this band with your two hands, and put your hook inside this, the, this peg here, and then just turn all the bands around. So it will just stretch out like this. So your bands will snap and you don't have to restart. And then just stretch it out like this. Okay, I'm sorry about the glare there, but yeah, the sunlight. It's still the afternoon. I usually post, I usually make my videos at night, but yeah. Okay, so now once we're done with that, you don't have to soft your looms, but lo put your loom ver um, horizontal. But I prefer it this way because it's easier to teach you guys. So push all the front bands, like literally all the front bands, as you could see here. Um, could you see it? No, okay. I will just make it vertical for now. Push all the front bands, grab the bottom band, hook it on like this, hook it, and then stretch it out. So now. I'm just going to speed things up again, so so be, the video will be much more faster, but, I would, but yeah, you can always go back to the first few steps to see what is going on. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. So yeah, now what, after you stretch this band, you might be wondering, what do you do? You just hook the bands like this so you just push all the front bands grab the bottom band and just hook it like as so now you might be saying oh then it's done right but it's not done yet guys I know you might be really tired by then but yeah it's not done our adventure is not done so yeah it's not done yet so and um, now I'm just gonna make my the vertical here so yeah let me just push all these bands here so yeah okay so now you just want to push the cat band here hook the single band here like hook the top band like the bottom band and hook it on now just push all the bands like just and then just push all the bands that's blocking your way but 
but then leave one of the bands here. So just push all the hook bands. So you could tell the difference between the hook bands and the unhook bands. So you just push all of that. Grab the top band, well, the unhook band, and hook it across like this. Now you just want to hook the, just literally just grab the top band, hook it to the other side. Grab the top band, hook it to the other side. So I'm just going to make it um, horizontal here. So you don't have to do that, but yeah, just grab, grab the top band, hook it to the other, and hook it to the other peg. Grab the top band I mean, and hook it to the other side here. So actually I'm going to make it vertical, whatever. So grab the top band and hook it to the other side. Grab the top band and hook it to the other side. Grab the top band, hook it to the other side. Grab the top band, hook it to the other side. Mm-hmm. Grab the top band here. And hook it to the other side. So, okay, so now what do we do here? Like, it's pretty messed up here. But grab, just grab the top band again and just hook it to the other side. Like this. Alright, now putting your loom vertical is the right time. So, push all the hook bands here, as you can see. You can see all the hook bands by just pushing all these bands here. At the side, push all the bands at the side here, except for this one. This one is the one you want to hook. So you just want to push all of that, grab the top band, and hook it to the other side. Now just do the same thing by just grabbing the top band and hooking it to the other peg. So yeah, I'll just speed this up so you could just pause the video like... You know, just rewind and just start all over again, I guess. Not really, literally all over again, but like by the hooking of this process. So yeah, once when you're done with that and you just hooked all the way to the end like that, now you just want to get your single band here. Your single band. And you just put your hook through. Grab your single band and hook it onto the hook. <laughs> and just stretch it out with your fingers here. Stretch it out. Pull your hook up. And then you just want to stretch it out. You still want to hold on it or else you would let, if you let go, it would, the band would let go, I guess. And then you want to stretch it out and place this band onto your hook like that. Now you just want to pull it out carefully, uh, not so violently, especially if you have a fake loom, which isn't a good idea to just, I guess, you know, you know, pull it out. So yeah, it may look so bled, so ugly. Look at this, so ugly. It's ugly, 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 hashtag ugliness, whatever you want to call it world and compare it to this lovely thing and this what what do you think this is well actually just stretch it out like this like stretch it out stretch it from the sides here like okay i don't want you to see the sunlight sorry about that okay so just want to stretch it out like this like you actually want to stretch the bracelet like this and it should work it should start getting on back into shape stretch it out like this make sure you do not snap the bracelet or yeah consequences and yeah just you just want to stretch it out more make sure it's perfect check the back so this is like double-sided so yeah this is the front side this is the signature this is the back so yeah you just want to stretch it more you know try your best to make it back into shape like back into shape and yeah after you finish stretching it and you think it's okay and if you think it looks like this design at least then you want to clip this together if this if um, and yeah if it does not fit your wrist then you may want to start adding extra bands so yeah this is the top here and then 
because and then you want to get a single band here I'm using the same color as my border like this color and then I just want to hook this single band onto the hook and then just slide this across like you just want to slide it and then just you still have to keep hold of this side of the band and just hook it on do the same thing and it will be longer I suppose so yeah since this already fits me so now you just want to stretch out this the bracelet here and then you want to find an opening like this now just put your two fingers through it grab your S clip or C clip I'm using a C clip for today and I'm just gonna hook it up oh man sorry I just want to hook it on like this and now you're done and then you just want to find the cat band here which is this band with this band if I let go and then I just find these two little rings and then I just want to hook it on and yeah that's it for today guys hope make sure to like comment and subscribe make sure to get the name for me please please just please I'll make sure I'll credit you you down and yeah, make a very nice thumbnail. So yeah, make sure to check out my other videos. Thanks guys, bye bye. And yeah, if your loom is still like this, then just pop it out. And then yeah, just fix it back to normal. And I'll teach you that. So now you just want to flip your loom around. And then just grab the end of your hook and then just pull it out like this. And then you want to grab the middle peg here. Don't actually do that if you have a fake loom. And just place it down like this. So this is how we should actually oh, place. And then just flip your loom around. And place your loom. Not It cannot be equal like this or else you can make the other regular bracelets. And just make it go up one more peg like this. So it will look the same again. And yeah, the U shapes would be all the same. And now you just want to place your blue thing back on. So yeah just want to even it out by counting the number of pegs however you want to do it and yeah bye guys see you guys soon or whatever and yeah hopefully you guys like this video so yeah bye